But in that whole thing is this whole culture that we now are living, this superficial culture that I've got to put a mask up. I mean, social media plays a lot of this. There's a lot of good on social media. This is how we came in contact. But there's, so there can be used for good. But if we're using those things as masks to keep other people out, then we're not going to find what we're really looking for. It's going to simply become another mask to our heart and it's going to become calcified. And, yeah. and, and in that, it's a very painful place to live. And I've been there. I, sadly, I was there for a long, long time. Um, and, and that calcification is going to come out in, in many ways. One thing that I had to deal with with many years after dealing with lust was my anger. Okay. And there's certain ways in which I've, I've developed healing on that. Um, and, and I'm a much, much better place. Thank God. But um, it's going to come out in a lot of different ways. But if we're not in possession of those emotions, but those emotions are in possession of us, and, and worse off, we've been stuffing those emotions, it's bound to become a powder cake and explode in many ways, whether it's with pornography, with illicit sexual actions, with drinking, with drugs, with, with our anger, um, with just avoidance of people. These are things that, that are keeping us from being who we're supposed to be, from entering into life that we're supposed to be. And so I would, I would say from that is that's the cross God does not want us to carry. It was never designed to carry. And so like if God creates, the evil one wants to take what is good, true, and beautiful and unifying and to, trend, to, to twist it, right? And so I would say that's a satanic cross, something that was never designed, but... God can always redeem anything. The question is, will you let him? Will you let him love you? Will you let him come in?